ओके हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल आवर व्यूअर्स लेट्स आई वांट टू वेलकम यू इन द मदर ईगल ब्लॉसम शो द मेम्स एंड uh we have today our, our very good friend from india uh mr asokan erolande did i pronounce your name right yeah very good very good correct <laughs> very good okay so uh asokan sir uh, you can uh, introduce yourself to our viewers yeah uh, i am asokan erolande from india Uh, southern part of india it is a famous uh, city on madurai madurai is world famous uh, one of the oldest uh, one of the oldest uh, city uh, madurai and uh, down south of madurai near srivilliputtur one city is there uh, it is also a temple city and uh, near to that a village is there uh, presently i am staying in that village so that is called malli <coughs> malli village malli uh, village yeah village and uh, i am an ex service man uh, served uh, indian air force and uh, honored with a commendation from the chief of the air staff and uh, for um, uh, overhauling an a pilot project means an engine to be overhauled in india that successfully done by me and uh, for that i was commended wow. by the chief of the air staff so uh, this is me <laughs> okay so thank you for introducing yourself because i mm. believe you have many friends here waiting to know more about you so <laughs> let's go straight to the point okay. uh, how do you write your poem <laughs> i i <laughs> i get inspiration from my friends uh, i get in uh, even uh, yesterday one uh, 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 trinidad b sullivan from spain cs okay. uh, posted a, uh, cs posted a bird uh, from uh, robert david atkinson so that ba- that bird image has uh, uh, sparked me to write a poem and okay. i have written uh, hugging the air uh, uh, beautifully hugging the air beautifully so uh, it has become a poem so oh, likewise that was a start I... <laughs> no start is uh, very long back when i was in air force uh, i have uh, written a love poem um, because uh, uh, the girl who in those days you know we <laughs> we, we can't love like this today Uh, we don't even uh, um, means uh, talk to each other and uh, uh, she was loving me i was loving her but we cannot marry so oh. situation was something like that so i wrote such a uh, poem that kathrikinraya uh, konne kanalukkaga it means uh, are you waiting for a marriage oh dear okay. are you waiting for a marriage so in that uh, <laughs> i have written that first poem it was in yeah, 18 that's the way that's the way you court yeah. your <laughs> yeah lady. that was in 80, yeah. 83 83 it was in 83 83 then, <laughs> okay <laughs> then later i have not written anything i was busy with my air force life and uh, later after many many years when i came out of service uh, one of my pet dog was uh, my dead so for uh, for that i was uh, writing something i was scribbling something in the notepad so the uh, feelings were flowing like that you know and i was yeah. feeling peaceful i was feeling very peaceful while writing so suddenly my wife came from behind and uh, picked up the notepad and threw it away <laughs> <laughs> so meaning uh, writing is your stress yeah. reliever yeah yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> our our dog is dead and you are writing something a poem like this so uh, but i feel that uh, that uh, emotion was flowing like that of so course. 
uh, yeah. Then afterwards, when we Air Force friends, we have joined together in WhatsApp group. So what I do uh, normally, any birthday wishes comes. So I just wish them with the one experience with them. One of the experience uh, with the each uh, each friends we will have many experiences. So in one of the experience, I'll tell you for example, very interesting. Uh, when we were in the Air Force training center. Uh -uh. One, uh, one Sunday, my friend told that, uh, let us go for a swimming. So uh, we both we both went through the jungle, crossed the double fencing. And <laughs> when we went to the field side, there was a uh, irrigation well was there where water was full. So I was so happy, just I pushed him inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so those yeah. were the days, those were your experiences uh, during your... Uh, uh, we call that military period. <laughs> so are you so, retired but, now? Uh, no, actually, when I pushed him inside, I never know that uh, he was struggling for uh, mean struggling. He was not knowing swimming. <laughs> oh my God. So what happened? Yeah, so, then I suddenly, because I can't have, means I didn't have any second thought. Because normally when you, uh, when the, when you want to save somebody, so uh, if you, if you catch them, they will hug you and uh, both will go down inside. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> then... that is the experience. Means the village side, we know that uh, you should catch the head of the, means head, means hair. You uh, catch hold of the hair hair and uh, pull him to the sore that is a practice actually so <laughs> but i have not uh, i have not waited for him he is little bigger than me also <laughs> i jumped inside uh, i jumped inside immediately i pulled him to the show uh, uh, staircases where it was some 16 feet uh, distance so it was so much struggle some and uh, he, uh, progressing every feat was very difficult. <laughs> Finally, I could save him. So At least you was, were both saved. Ah, saved. So after saving that that incident, uh, uh, we came back. So uh, this experience, I will mention it in his birthday wishes. And then uh, it will be like this. It started, the writing pattern has started like this in WhatsApp group. So every friend uh, will have some kind of this kind of experience. So yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah we can is... actually our uh, experiences, difficult experiences, we can apply that also in our, you know, life that mm. even we go through difficult things so we can survive yeah. at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in the most uh, difficult times when we come out of it and that is a sweet experience later in life yes that's right <laughs> that's right so you love writing more on romantic poems or sad poems inspirational what is your uh, way of writing you know, I, mean, I never uh, write... what, what do you love to write most I, I never write romantic poem I, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I feel it, uh, that uh, uh, it is uh, not suitable to me. Means, <laughs> I, I always, uh, but but without explain, um, without expressing uh, my uh, worldly things, I can write uh, very compassionately. Without expressing uh, with much words, but uh, one of my friends said that that uh, you are not uh, very um, uh, you are bringing the compassion without writing about it. Yeah, of course. And um, uh, you have shared with me that you were just you know, uh, very young when your mother left you. Yeah. Was it because that? she passed away or for, uh, no, no. for some reason no no actually my mother was very healthy and uh, she was married uh, to a village she was from a rich background well to do family in a city okay. from the city she came to a village so my grandmother means my mother's mother-in-law Okay. Mother-in-law, she uh, 
she has shifted to uh, city uh, for looking after his youngest son who was a teacher so when she was moving she thought that uh, because uh, she is going away from the family responsibilities so she want to give uh, take me along with her so that my mother is little less burdened because my mother had another uh, three children to care and uh, look after all other agrarian activities okay. in home so to relieve actually my grandmother has taken me yeah. to the um, and she is very good uh, lady uh, my she grandmother was also one. she was the one taking care of you and she yeah. was a Definitely. virtuous woman right <laughs> yeah she was very you are very <laughs> I remember, <laughs> and she's a very virtuous woman, and uh, I was uh, shaped by her, my grandmother. My grandmother and you are so was lucky. Playing. You're so lucky. You are so <laughs> blessed to have your grandmother. You know. Yeah. And but, you but, as uh, a the person. Is, uh, but the thing is, though my grandmother has taken care of me very well, uh, but uh, she had uh, so much uh, strict principles. In my mother's case, she was so much compassionate and so much loving, and I missed that uh, aspect of it. And uh, yeah. uh, I always I look look for my mother in every woman I see <laughs> outside. So that is my childhood uh, uh, earnings. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and of course, your grandfather yeah. also was a very good man. Yeah, so, um, but when I, 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 uh, he, he was, uh, yeah, uh, he was, my grandfather was, uh, um, means honor guard for 56 villages. 56 he was villages a respected in man in your place during his time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he was a hero. <laughs> one, I'll tell you one thing on an incident. Uh, one day it was raining heavily. He was returning from other uh, uh, town uh, to the village. Okay. So he was having one uh, one of his servants with him. So mm -hmm. when we when they reached uh, our village, he was thinking that uh, uh, it was raining for continuously three four days. So the village lake was about to breach sometimes. So I will check it out and uh, come back. It was around ten thirty eleven o'clock. Okay. So he, he my grandfather told the servant that uh, you go back uh, to the village i will go and check and come back so by the time when he went to westward that uh, servant also followed him without his knowledge so when he reached the banks and the, in the banks there is a little cavity where the bullock carts used to climb and uh, get into the lake when it was dry because mm -hmm. the bullock carts used to pass through that area so that is the weakest link. So there it was, water was just seeping through, overflowing, near, nearly overflowing that uh, place. It was a dark day and uh, a banyan tree was nearby and a lot of infested with snakes. So my grandfather, by the time the servant also came. So what he did is, he laid, he laid himself to stop the water. Oh my His God. His full body... Ah, he, he stopped the water by uh, uh, falling across and told the servant that to go back and get the people uh, uh, before it is breached. So oh. that boy ran back to village and they got all the village people with uh, all implements. They wow. came back and they supported with uh, stones and other things. So they rebuilt uh, behind him. Then he got up. So, likewise, he has said many examples means he could yes, have told he that... He was something. a hero. He was a hero <laughs> in your village, right? Yeah, yes. in a physical fight also, uh, there is... Um, in the, you might have heard that uh, in uh, our Tamil Nadu, in Pongal days, especially recently, the Pongal has gone. So, we term the bulls. We term the bulls in open, uh, without, uh, in a open, uh, people will be spectating. From the center point, bull will be coming out of uh, gate, gate. So people have to control it. Means uh, term the bull, like uh, Spain, in Spain and all they do, you know. Amy in the that, they're yeah. ah, yeah. it's they good. are killing it. Ah, there they are killing it. But here only oh. they will hold it. 
Hold it. He's, in Tamil. You know, he's brave and he's very, um, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, he was a very good man. That's why, that's why he that's moves why around. why you are also good. Because your, <laughs> your grandmother maybe kept on telling you about him. And, uh, you know, he's no, actually, your I, idol. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really, he was an idol. But and, anyway... Uh, um, you know, as token, sir, I am just overwhelmed with your respect with us, your female <laughs> friends. You are a friend <laughs> to everyone. We ladies, yeah. I know that mm -hmm. we are very comfortable with your friendship because we can never feel anything that causes discomfort in talking with you. <laughs> and that I believe every woman needs or deserves to mm. be uh, respected. Mm. So I really yeah. appreciate you and it's the time that the world mm. knows who you are and you are so good and a very good friend. So <laughs> can you read you. us your one of your poems? I love the poem that you shared with me. The title is like dot <laughs> dot B-O-T <laughs> What is that? that what is the title? The, Which, I'm sorry, I'll check it. I, I, I found it here. I stand at that. Uh, I stand at that. Oh, I stand at that. I stand have, at that. Do you uh, have that, your I copy have, there? I stand at that. Is, uh, uh, I have actually selected four poems uh, re ready. Uh, is it ready or you I, I can read it for you? <laughs> ah yeah, you can read it for me. Okay. Because you know mm. I love this. Oh my god. Mm. Ah, okay, I'll I'll find it now. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I stand yeah. at that yeah. by Asokan Erlande. Dear my distant clouds, dear my deep water, dear my desert sands, dear my dense forests, some of your hands touch me visibly. And invisible touches are made. You are, you all are my past and will be my future. I stand at that you revolve around me in all direction. It is time my hold loosens, leaving it merged with you. I love it. My friends near. And the distant beer, all becoming one blue. So that's it. Just a small, <laughs> uh, you know, the, just a short <laughs> poem, but it has, yeah. you know, a significant meaning. If you want <laughs> to understand the poem, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, you, re you read it uh, better than me. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. Well, I can would you let me um give some, you know, uh what we call that review for that poem? <laughs> review. Review, uh, yeah. Um, actually, because, you know, uh, I, I can understand mm. that uh, the dot for me symbolizing humility because you feel yourself just like a dot. And, yeah. you know, those elements of nature, like what you were saying, sun, forest, and what was it? <sighs> uh, forest, sands, clouds, water. You know, mm. uh, they are God's creation. Mm. And you want to express yourself with them. <laughs> and that means you love God's creation. Because sometimes, yeah. you know, uh, even our fellow humans can sometimes understand, cannot understand us poets 
<laughs> because uh, sometimes we are weird <laughs> and uh, because they are so attached so some of our friends are you know so attached with this world with this temporal world they are so yeah. attracted with material things unlike the nature you know yeah, yeah <laughs> so yeah. they they cannot really appreciate sometimes they they don't have you know they don't love poems they don't love poetry so i believe yeah. that um you are you know when we become blue it's it's a sign when we become one because you told in your poem you stated there that um you loosen yourself and merge with them yeah so for me that's an oh, <laughs> no <laughs> that's a filipino word um for me um that is something that is something that uh you love to merge yourself with the nature because yeah. nature sometimes nature can understand the our feelings mm. and that when yeah. we are uh, looking at the nature it's easy for us to write it's easy for us to to uh, express ourselves and we will be filled by nature yeah. and feeling ourselves can be can it cannot be both but with money you know yeah. what? <laughs> it, it, it is something money cannot buy when you yeah. feel yourself with nature mm. and yeah. um it's a kind of contentment. Yeah, contentment. <laughs> exactly. Contentment. exactly. Because you are just mm -hmm. happy with nature and you don't need to spend a single penny in order to be happy. <laughs> so when we are yeah. filled, we well, mm -hmm. we are also mm. feeling fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, my simple understanding with your with your um short poem. But I love yeah. it. And thank you for <laughs> teaching us to treasure friendship. So, may I ask you one thing? Uh, because I always love to ask this. What life matters for you? Uh, actually, um, uh, this um, um, uh, it changes uh, at the various stages of uh, your life. Uh, as a child, uh, what I wanted was something as a youngster, it changes. As a family man, demands are, uh, means uh, expectations are varying. And after uh, fulfilling some of the family, means uh, after crossing 50 and all, then uh, yeah, uh, you actually in Hinduism, uh, it is told that uh, uh, childhood, youngster, after a married man's life, then um, uh, sagehood means uh, you become a sage. You, literally, you need not to become a sage, but your thinking should become a, a means more for the people, more for the environment, more for the animals, things like that. Your mind should be broadened, not to, only to achieve materialistic uh, values. So uh, you have to you have to get to that level. Means then only you are a uh, satisfied, my uh, rather uh, fulfilled. A uh, person yes, means that's fulfillment, that's contentment, and uh, that contentment. we have to value because yeah. uh, you know you taught us to value friendship actually because <laughs> I really have a high regard on you because you really respect the uh ladies yeah, and I hope yeah some men and, uh, out yeah. there can understand <laughs> that. You know, we love to talk people who have a respect on us. So there yeah. are people yeah. that we cannot avoid that they have, you know, not good intentions to you. Yeah. So that's why we are not talking so much or we're not even replying to their messages. But with you, we feel that we are being told about life. Yeah. So thank you that... Uh, the, for that answer and um mm. now the world know who you are <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you, um thank you, you for treasuring friendship 
yeah thank you and uh, i will i'll tell you one thing even because of this um, uh, facebook and the social uh, political forums i have one um, uh, uh, dr geeta mohanty you know you your friend only i think Oh. Dr. Gita Mohanty. Ayan, Dr. Gita. Actually, she mm. was the first one whom I interviewed an international poet because at yeah. first I don't have the, you know, I I I don't have the confidence to talk, the confidence to <laughs> to be yeah. to have a conversation with other international poets so i just mm -hmm. i started interviewing our local poets yeah. and then the first yeah. one that i interviewed was dr gita mohanty and she's very beautiful she's very kind and she's very very nice hi dr yeah, gita <laughs> yeah i know her See, of course uh, and uh, you know what uh, what relationship i have with her you know I'm sorry. Um, uh, do you know that what relationship I have with her? Do you yeah. know? I know, right? <laughs> it, so you know, I, she is my mom. That. She is my mom. Who? <laughs> yeah. Doctor Gita. Yes. She is my mom. I I consider her my not only consider her. I she is my mom. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and, she's very nice, yeah. and she's um, also uh actually she's in the U.S. but she's doing charity yeah. in India. So you know, I really mm. salute her in her good works. You know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So because, uh, I ask. Um, see, see, see okay, has, you go on. Uh, she has so much of resemblance to my mother, so much, so much uh, resemblance to my mother. And oh. uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know when I started calling her uh, mom. <laughs> really? uh, and, uh, I and, miss her. And, uh, and I will tell you one thing from here. Yeah. Whatever I earned in my total life, whatever material things I have earned, is my I have earned a mom is the biggest thing. I declare it openly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mm. uh, you know, Doctor Gita mm. is one is also one of the administrators of the passion of poetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe she came uh, late than me. I was uh, in first than her. Than her. Uh, uh, yeah. So last, uh, I not a question, but I want. What is your message for those who are, you know, people who what what they need to do? I mean, in order to capture female hearts to be a friend <laughs> yeah what is your advice yeah. to them <laughs> see i'll tell them um see like uh, once uh, fay uh, fay rosaria v maximo has asked me what do you wanted to be i told her <laughs> i i told her that uh, i just wanted to breeze like a wind oh yeah so, <laughs> Uh, just yeah, yeah. If you yeah, if you be honest and uh, uh, um, uh, follow righteous principles, yes, yes, and uh, uh, make people happy. Take yes. care of them, really. Take like care of them. Really. Yeah, <laughs> and especially That's my. If you uh, if you see my uh, connections mostly. Uh, the women mostly who are uh, alone, living in uh, uh, alone after means uh, uh, old old people mostly. Uh, so I I stand for them. I spend a lot of time for them. So <laughs> that is the way I am. Uh, I nice. am spending my. I'm giving my only time. I'm I'm not having anything else. So I am supporting them and uh, taking care of them. 
so like uh, Annie Jansen, um, uh, there are many, many. <laughs> there are many. You have a lot of friends, I know. So I am glad I am one of them. And uh, you don't need to be for me to be so famous in order to capture one's uh, friendship. To, to to have a good friendship with other ladies you have you mm. just have to be you know true to yourself and be kind and that's all no more <laughs> other requirements just be you yeah. yeah 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 so i know that you if you are you know what we call this if you are a river you you know we've the tapestry of life lightly and uh, you are very ready whatever happens because you are a good man I, you have nothing to worry because you know that and you are confident that you are loved by our God <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah so um, thank you so much uh, um, I believe that you know, uh, the people now, the poets now who are waiting for this interview are glad uh, uh, to know more about you. And thank you also for teaching us to transfer friendship as this is what really matters for you as you consider friends as your family and it tightened the bond we have in this world, you know? Because yeah. we can be united by solidifying first our small circle of friends. And we can yeah. do that if possible, that we can group the world as one also. If we start in a small circle of friends and no, yeah. no matter the religion, the culture, and the race. Right? Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much. And I am so happy. Uh, my great pleasure to have you. And uh, what can you say about this show? <laughs> Last one. <laughs> yeah. The Mother uh, Eagle Blossom Show. Yeah. This is Mother Eagle uh, Blossom Show. The mother uh, part I love in any aspect. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically. And uh, Mother Eagle uh, Blossom, so by the name itself is uh, beautiful. <laughs> I am talking to one of, the, one of the beautiful, one of the most beautiful soul in the uh, Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, because why I'm telling is not that because, uh, uh, because I'm watching you and uh, you are moving with the people sometime at the hills, sometime at the uh, trekking through... <laughs> <laughs> forest and uh, helping them to sell some even uh, uh, that uh, uh, medicinal wood or something herbal things <laughs> so you are you are making the people very happy wherever you are yeah. wherever you are. <laughs> thank you for wherever that you <laughs> and thank you for following me you know you're not just making me smile but you're making me laugh <laughs> laugh out loud <laughs> thank you so much and i am so happy to have you again and um it will be, you know, this uh, link will be uh, watched by the uh, by my friends, by the Filipino poets and blossoms, and also to the meet the poets. So now you're meeting Mr. Asokan Erolande. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bye bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It has become very good, and my thanks to Pe Rosario Maximo. Yeah. Our dear friend. <laughs> She's waiting for this. <laughs> bye bye, sir. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>